Everybody wants to ask their boss for a raise at some point in their lives. But more often than not, you either chicken out or get shut down. So instead of the common to-do things, we're gonna do the opposite. Today, we're going to be covering what not to say when negotiating your salary. When negotiating your salary, there will always be a few things that you must never say. If you are too direct, they might think you're being arrogant or ungrateful. However, if you're too vague, they'll assume that you are not sure on what you want to say and they'll deny you right away. And if you think you don't need to hear about this because you're already skilled in the art of negotiation, well, you should think again. No matter how much time you rehearse, there's always a chance that you'll make a mistake that will blow up your face in the end. And that's what we're trying to avoid here. So don't skip this video and let us help you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to WebTube channel for more amazing videos. And feel free to comment down below and let us know what you want to learn more. Here are 9 things you should avoid saying when negotiating your salary. Number 1. Never let them know how much you're currently making. One of the most common questions you'll be asked is how much you are currently making. This is a dangerous and tricky question because it can set the pace of your conversation without having the conversation build up naturally. Letting them know your current salary would only serve to help them classify you at a certain salary range and would make it difficult to negotiate further once you have arrived to a decision. By not telling them your salary, you could have a chance to stood and make more in case they are willing to pay more for your services. Number 2. The salary that you would like to be making right now. Now, this is a very important situation. If you tell someone the salary you are looking to receive, you will only once again be assigned at the reach in which your salary offer will be included. Once your recruiter or employer knows your dream salary, they can make you work around it or for it, and then prevent you from asking more once you have reached it. The third one is, sorry. Saying you're sorry can have determinal effects during a negotiation. It's human nature to smooth the rough parts of a conversation. However, apologizing during a negotiation could signal the other party that you are someone who is willing to back down. This could lead to more serious issues later as the company may focus less on giving you what you deserve and instead, begin to cut your pay again. Number 4. Negative Words During a negotiation, you will usually want to avoid negative language. For examples, Rather than saying just no, or just by saying no, I won't be able to, you could say, how about we try this instead? This prevents confrontations and conflicts that would otherwise lead to someone throwing up walls and cutting themselves off from every employee. Number 5. Saying yes too soon. 
In some cases, your recruiter or interviewer might just give you a job offer that you weren't offering. This can make your life difficult because you will be intrigued by the offer they have given you. But you should also remember that you don't have to immediately say yes. In some cases, the offer may be better than what you expect. Sometimes things can become true if you look for them hard enough. You will want to hold off interviews for a while where you are able to still do that. Number 6. Later Holding a conversation off until later or keeping your work until a later date is not a good work practice. Keeping your work to be done later or addressing something later than when it was initially asked can give your supervisor the wrong impression. If your recruiter sees how lazy you are, they might not be able to offer you the job offer due to the lack of commitment and effort you displayed by working on a project. Number 7. Trying Don't tell your employer or interviewer that you tried. It is very easy to take a task. And not being able to complete the task and saying it was hard to complete but you tried is not a good idea. Remember that you should always try to do your best. Even if you were not good at that category you were given to, a very small effort to research and learn something wouldn't hurt. Number 8. Wanting more. In this instance, if you are negotiating your salary, you don't ask for more vacations. You don't talk about being paid a higher salary. You must be positive and have an effective plan and aura around you in order to attack the road in between. Many HR representatives will take your attitude of wanting more and decide what you are not really focused on. Your growth and analysis will be reviewed. And we're down to the last one. Negotiating. If we get to this point, we are proud of you. If you have more tips and ideas on things not to say during a negotiation, feel free to comment them down below. Negotiating is an art. It is like talking to someone. And you have to have a meaningful conversation with them. Just like in movies, people try to connect with them and plan what to say ahead before meeting with them. Don't be too demanding and make them feel that you are just working to get a better paying job. You have to show them and make them feel that you are one with them. Don't try to negotiate like how you buy stuff in the market. I hope these 9 tips can help you well and can also help you in being cautious in what you want to say. Speaking up is not a bad idea, but using it in the wrong way might cause your salary and career into an end. Thank you for watching. You should really think about subscribing to our channel. There are a lot of cool and useful knowledge we want to share with you. You might also want to visit our Webby website. Webtube is a part of webnetwork.com that provides laser-focused content on personal and financial
financial development of individuals who wish to grow to the next level in life. Sign up and join Webby Network for free to get exclusive updates. You should also visit our store. We have different products to offer. Check out the description down below for website links. If you want to watch more, check out our hand-picked videos. Don't forget to like and hit the bell button for more amazing content.